Hey, it's Aran here. In this tutorial of System.io, I'm gonna show you how to create a payment plan uh, using System. So basically you are in the order form section and you have to make sure that you pick the order form. And you can see it by this symbol. When you have this symbol, you will have here different option for price plans. You will notice that let's just say I have a thank you page you will notice that there is not going to be that particular option to accept payments. So you have to make sure you're on the order form or alternatively, you will also see pricing options if you pick the upsell option or the downsell option. You will not see it on any other type of page. So understand the differentiation, order form, downsell, upsell. These are the only places you will have this thing right here which is called pricing plans and also resources. So now we are on the pricing plan and I'm going to click on this plus button. And this plus button is going to give me an option of creating a pricing. So now sometimes you've already created something in the past and you can see I created a whole bunch in the future, what, uh, in the past. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a new one. So when you're starting from scratch, you will then have this option which is the inner price plan, i.e. the price name of what you're about to create that is going to be in your dashboard that is not visible for clients. So in this case, I'm going to call this uh, system.io website DIY plus template club payment plan, okay? And then I'm going to also give it a name of what it will be shown on the actual page. So when I'm on the editor, you will see this text. So you need to give it a name that's going to make sense. So System.io website DIY course and template club payment plan. Now you wanna give a Stripe description, i.e. what's going to show up. Now click on this question mark and then you'll see. When a customer makes a purchase from you, a short description on the purchase will show up in the bank statements. So I'm gonna give it a name. So it's going to be system course and templates, and that's the name. And that's how much space I have. If I try to make it more spaced, it's actually already too many characters. Now I need to choose the type. Is it a one-time payment? I.e. they pay once and that's it. It is a subscription, i.e. they pay month to month, can cancel any time or it's a payment plan, i.e. they pay certain amount of times and then it's gone, basically. Like they pay, you know, 30 bucks a month for 12 months, 360 bucks total, and that kind of breaks down into a payment plan and that's it. It's not an ongoing subscription. So I'm gonna click on payment plan. Now I have the option to do a couple of things. Number one, I can choose the trial days, i.e. if I wanna do a free trial or a free week or a free month, and also how many do I actually do? So a customer, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna do any free trial on this. I'm going to choose that basically each month, the customers will pay a certain amount of money. Now in my case, I'm selling a one-time deal of 397. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break it up to 12 months. So 12 months is $33. So I'm going to do $37 a month for 12 months. Now let me just calculate on my cal on my calculator on my phone, 37 multiplied by 12, 444, okay? And so every month they will pay that and it's gonna be 12 times, okay? So that's what this is going to be. Now I'm going to click on save and that option is now going to be there. Now you always want to make sure that you click on save because if you don't click on save, this will not be here. Now, if you accidentally didn't click on save, you should be able to go and find the price plans. Basically by clicking the plus and searching, you should be able to find the price plan, but you want to obviously make sure you click on save. Now we're going to go to the editor. Now this is now set up, okay? This is now I've set up the price. Now I need to go to the editor. Now realize if you've connected Stripe, you don't have to connect Stripe again or PayPal, it will all be automatically set up. So now when I'm gonna go to the page, I'm gonna scroll down and here is the payment option. Now you will see now that somebody will have a choice to basically click on this option or this option as well 
to pick which one they want to pay. Now you will notice that I actually made a mistake on this particular price plan and I'll show you what the mistake is. So what I did is I said, accidentally I said that every two months the $37 a month. So that was a mistake, I didn't mean to do that. So I'm gonna click here on create again and again I'm gonna go to give it a name and web DIY. thirty seven x twelve okay like this now I'm gonna give this another name here the price plan so same thing now I'm gonna give it payment plan again make it every month thirty seven and twelve. Now I'm gonna click on save and it should be the right way. Now I'm gonna click on save again, go to, I'm gonna click on view funnel and now you'll notice if I scroll all the way to the bottom, I should have the two payment options basically. Okay, there you go. So they can either pay $3.97 one time or they can do a payment plan, which is $37 a month every month for the next 12 months, basically, okay? So that's kind of the option that I'm giving here. Now, I don't have to do these options, okay? I'm just giving an example of how that would work. When you do this now, when you set up the payment, you always want to make sure a couple of things. Number one, on the step configuration, you wanna always give the resources. Which resources are you giving them access to? Are you giving them access to a course, a course bundle, and so on? So let's say I'm gonna click on course bundle. Now I gotta choose the bundle and say which one they're gonna get access to. And if they're gonna get full access, i.e. they get access to everything immediately or just drip, okay? So this is really important that you actually give access to something. Now, another thing you wanna do is you wanna click on automation rules and you always want to tag. So the way it works is you click on add rule and you say a new sale, i.e. when somebody buys, you do a specific action. In this case, there's a couple of things you should always do. You should minimally always um, tag them as something, i.e. the way I do it is I tag them as a buyer. But specifically, I say uh, system, course, template club, buyer, or something like that. And then if you have an ongoing email sequence to onboard them once they purchase, you would subscribe them to a campaign. Or if you just wanna do one thank you email, you would just click on the email. You would click on send email to a specific address, especially if you want to notify a virtual assistant or notify yourself when somebody makes a purchase. You can definitely do that as well. So that's um, um, also good to do. Uh, any one of these basically. Now in this case, you need to create the tag elsewhere. So you click on tags. I'm gonna go here now. And on the tags, I'm gonna give it a tag. And that's going to be system course plus templates buyer, like that. Click on save. Now I'm gonna go back here. Click on add action, add tag. And then I'm gonna choose tag, I'm gonna go to search. And here it is. Now when somebody makes a purchase, I am going to have this person tagged so I know they're a buyer, okay? Now, in this case, I, I don't know that I'll actually do the um, like onboarding email sequence necessarily. I might just do one email, but that's something that I'll kind of decide uh, separate to this video. So that's what I wanted to show you. That's basically how you set up the pricing plan. Note that once you create the pricing plan, you cannot change it. So if you try to click here on editing, you can only edit the Stripe statement and the name in the dashboard. Um, and the name in the payment page. That's the only thing you can change. So you can basically customize these things right here or how you see it on the page. But you cannot customize the price. If you wanna change the price, you have to create a brand new pricing plan. So that's about it. Hope you got value from this. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment for me. If you're watching this on YouTube, just leave a comment for me below with any questions you might have and so on. If you're new to System IO then definitely subscribe to my channel and uh, you know, cause I have a whole playlist with other YouTube videos 
on System.io. And of course, if you want to learn more about System.io, go to website diycourse.com forward slash system where you can actually check out this offer where I give you a complete course from A to Z on how to set up your system website. Uh, there is a bit, of a bit of information here. You can get a video tour of the course area and everything you're getting. You can see a whole bunch of testimonials, people that have worked with me. You can see the pricing, um, how it works, and so on. Uh, when you click on Why System.io, it will actually take you to another YouTube video that will show you my comparison of System.io and Kajabi, where I break it down into greater details, basically. So uh, here you'll see a video that explains the, the course, a little bit of what you get, and here you see the pricing options. The pricing options might be different by the time you're watching this, but at the time of uh, when you're seeing this, this is the pricing. So that's about it. Thanks a lot. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.